So you guys know SEMA is the best of the best. It's the best trucks that are out there from custom wheels, custom powder coating, custom suspension, everything from the top to the bottom of these trucks are absolutely insanely custom. But if there's something about these trucks that don't make you wanna go build yours, I don't know what will. Let's get into it. It's Sunday morning at 5.23 a.m. Trace and I are heading off to SEMA 2022, and we'll catch you guys in Vegas. What is up, guys? As you can tell, we made it to Las Vegas, Nevada. For a city that never sleeps, one of two things is going on. People either partied way too hard last night or they're prepping for this evening. We're going to head down to SEMA, head down to the convention center. I, I mean, this week is going to be absolutely littered with things for us to do. So uh, we can't wait to show you what we got in store, and uh, let's get it. One elevator over there takes you into a mall. Second elevator takes you back down into this thing. Monorail's here though, so that's good. So we're at the convention center. It's already absolutely packed and it's the day before this thing opens. I mean, there's trucks everywhere, but we're about to link up with Cal from TIS. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to see what they got. Apparently they got a bunch of sick trucks all cleaned up over there and he's gonna take us through and uh, let's see what they got this year. This is Cal's truck. It is 20... 22. 22. Cummins 2500 Mega Cab. Walk us through it, bro. Yeah, the truck's literally uh, brand new. It's got like a thousand miles on it. We put Trikers, new lift. It's like a 14 inch. I got it set probably about 17 inch right now. We got Venom's new uh, 42s, 1650 30, a 30 by 16. Custom TIS Forge wheels. We got everything color matched, emblems, custom grill from Boost Bars, Alpha Rex headlights. How tall can this thing go? Um, it's actually their 12 to 14 inch kit. I got it set right now at about 16 in front because I went with a bigger coilover. Okay. Just to bring it up a little higher. Yeah, this thing is absolutely wicked. That is sweet. Well, shit, what else you got for us? Well, we got a lot here. This one is the polar opposite of the first one that we reviewed. This is the 2017 Ram 3500, absolutely slammed on its nuts. Walk us through this one. Yeah, so this one here, there's not too much on it that wasn't touched. Uh, North Muskoka tore this whole thing apart, put a fifth gen conversion on it. Please tell me you went 12 valve. Yep, with a, with a 12 valve P-pump. The truck actually has, if you look in the back here, full custom frame. No, it's absolutely gorgeous. 28 by 16 super singles in the rear, so it doesn't have that, that dually rear wheel setup. The front wheels are actually one off. It's a 26 by nine with a dually style look with a one inch lip. Uh, full custom interior, everything. Yeah, no, the interior is absolutely insane. What is, as far as suspension on this, what, what makes it do that? Frame actually is from Texas, a company called Acme is the one that made it. Okay. With the whole airlift setup. Yep, so all the bags and whatnot are all yeah. airless. Alpha Rex headlights again. Yep, on Alpha Rex headlights. I don't know if this is a rude question to ask. What does something like this cost? This one here, you're in the you're a couple hundred grand. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I love the passion that goes into uh, into some of these builds. It's absolutely insane. Did you get it? Yeah. guys we're here day one at SEMA what we're gonna do today is pretty much get a lay of the land we're gonna figure out how everything works where everything's at where everything's located this place is so massive but really I just want to find the lay of the land figure out where everything's at and go from there so 
So I'm sitting here with Mike from Bell Tech and KW Suspensions. As you guys know, I run Bell Tech on my truck. So we had to stop by and see what these guys had going on. Mike, thanks for talking to me. Yeah. So I guess Bell Tech's been around forever. And I want to know where's Bell Tech headed in 2023? So next year is Bell Tech's 40th anniversary. We're really excited about it. And we want to get back to the roots of the brand. Sure. I mean, you know, it really started the sport truck scene. And we're excited to get back to that feeling of that community. We want to show how things have transitioned from back in the day 40 years ago and then moving forward to the things that are built today and kind of show that contrast and comparison of, of where things have been but that we're still part of that community but there would be no business without the builders and that's why we want to spend all of next year really focusing on the builders i appreciate your time yeah, thank absolutely. you for talking with me and uh and i look forward to working with you yeah, guys in 2023 i'm then. sure it won't be the last time What is up guys, we're back day two at SEMA. This time around, I think we're gonna hit the Ken Block Hoonigan Burnout Pit, I think they call it. We're gonna hop in there, try to find out what some of these vendors have new for us. some of their products, see what they have for new product in 2023, and just see how typically they think 2023 is going to be. Up by the Alpha Rex booth, and we're standing here with Danny from Alpha Rex and his ugly truck that he copied mine with. Okay, and, hold on a second. What? Yours is a wrap, first of all. But anyways, what do you guys got, 2023? First off, uh, we're gonna start with the Ford Bronco we got over here. We just launched these headlights. They're available for pre-order right now, uh, which means they're gonna be coming to the Custom Offsets website very, very soon as well. Full activation feature, sequential turn signals. Also, one great thing about this, you can control both daytime running lights. So the circle, and the line so they could be all white they can be all amber and then this one you guys like a lot yeah so we've got a 2006 lbz cat eye here uh, with our new nova series lights these are also available for pre-order coming very soon to the custom offsets website full sequential turn signals as well activation feature and then all three projectors are going to light up for you on low beams and high beams on this one did you just look at it we've got tesla headlights in the works we also have some they look good brand new toyota tundra headlights the, the 2022s 2022s oh, okay that's fire. nasty that's nasty they're fire keep killing it man yeah. you guys are crushing it I appreciate, appreciate it. you thanks for stopping by the booth and, yes sir uh, have fun at SEMA. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Would you look at that? Sometimes you just want to look at it. So we were just casually walking by and we found another Bronco, 2021 Bronco on the new Churchill's outer coat. These things look absolutely sick. Is this the new Bronco wheel? It's super sick to see Archon sitting at a show like this. It's super sick to see Archons at SEMA in general, but uh, also the brand new wheel that uh, I had no idea we had this over here, so that's awesome. So ceramic coating is probably one of the best things you can do to protect your initial investment when you purchase wheels. The ceramic coating protects against everything from uh, road grime to brake dust to UV protection from the suns all the way up to just helping you clean them. So I'm here with Steve from System X and he's gonna walk us through and show us how to ceramic coat a wheel. For those of you guys who don't understand how ceramic coating actually works, thank you, Steve. 
what happens is it starts a hardening process almost immediately. They do a portion of the wheel at first because what happens is if you go too much of the wheel and you don't get it off in time, you end up having to polish the stuff off because it is that intrusive to your wheel. He'll take the microfiber rag and what he does is he levels the product out to make it set to the wheel the way that he wants it to set for its final state. So honestly guys, it's as simple as that. It doesn't take a whole lot. It's not anything crazy, but what it does, the process is absolutely insane. The way this stuff hardens and the way it actually works, the chemical process that happens in it, you truly can feel the difference almost immediately. So for you guys who haven't been to SEMA, this place is absolutely massive. It's compiled of four halls and it's 4.6 million square feet of convention space. Wednesday, I think we walked 18 miles, but what they have, and we're starting to learn this as we go, they have systems that allow you to get from point A to point B much quicker. So what we're gonna do, Trace and I are gonna hop on what they call the Tesla loop. So we're gonna hop in one of these lines. One of these Teslas are gonna pick us up. Like I said, the place is pretty sick though. The tunnels are all LED lit all the way through and they haul, they haul ass. We made it over to the West Hall. The West Hall is loaded with truck stuff. Stop by some of these booths and see what they got for us for 2023. So we stopped by the Gen Y booth to check out what they have for 2023. Rachel, walk me through it. What do you guys have? What are you launching? Newest product is going to be the Goose Puck. So this is a five inch extension that works with your OEM puck system. This is the GM and then there's the Ford and the Dodge. But basically what it does, this part is going to go into your ball where your ball stem would yep. normally go. And then it moves your ball back five inches. So it gives you clearance uh, when you're towing like a fifth wheel or something like that. Second one is gonna be the Phantom Flipping Tow, but a big hit. You can flip it to the side, tow like a hammer strap, hay wagon, D-ring, forge, etc. And then, if you don't wanna bust your shins, there we go. One and done. You can put a hitch step or a flagpole in the back. Oh yeah, that's yes. super sweet. And those are the two new products and uh, we'll keep coming out with more. I appreciate you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Dustin. Today we're about to head over to Seam Ignited, but we linked up with Brad Tavares before we went down. Brad drives a 2022 F-150 that he just slapped some rough country, their new low profile bumpers on there and had them paint matched and this thing looks absolutely sick. He's rocking 22 by 14 inch TIS wheels. He's got an eight inch lift on this thing. He's got custom badges all the way around, floating center cabs. As far as the bumpers go, this was one of the only bumpers we could find for this truck that actually looks super good. It was super low profile. What do you think about the uh, the new bumpers? I'm loving these bumpers. You know, it's a 2022, not a lot of things out for it. And then uh, Rough Country finally came out with these. Saw them and fell in love, man. You know, they're super sleek. They got the fog lights in them, the, the light bar in them. I'm guilty, I was driving around when I first got it back with them on blinding the shit out of people, you know, and then so I finally <laughs> had to turn them off. Well, the nice thing is too, is with the low profile, you get the extra clearance almost right away for bigger tires. In my opinion, it's one of the cleanest looking bumpers I've seen for the F-150s in general, not just 2022s. Follow Brad, what is it, Brad Tavares? At Brad Tavares 808. Brad has a fight coming up in Brazil, January 21st, UFC 283, he'll be fighting. So that'll be super sick, so tune into that. I appreciate you. Thank you, bro. Going up, elevate, 
watch me demonstrate On time, never late I grind, celebrate No pump fake, hesitate I be scoring every day Champagne Perrier Since 9-3, been in the box Now stepping up to home Guys, that's a wrap for SEMA 2022 SEMA Ignite is just finishing up right now We got to meet some sick-ass people We got to saw some sick-ass trucks We got to talk with people We got to see what's coming for 2023 It was a unique year this year It was a much bigger convention center They opened up more space So it felt slower But I'm pretty sure it was busier But uh, all in all, it was a damn good event We had a lot of fun Yeah.